folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason Carr and you're watching Old Car Auto Guy. So it's lunchtime and I am about to pull into probably my favorite little takeout in town. And it's a food truck. Actually, it's a trailer. Anyways, I'm gonna grab me some lunch and we'll be right back with you. So a huge shout out to Twisted Sisters and their food truck for filling my gut once again. As always, an excellent meal. Too many fries, couldn't eat them all. Anyways, I want to share with you guys a little bit of something that uh, goes on here behind the scenes. And I have done it in the past, but I just want to give you another update. We've got this 2015 Ford Escape uh, and we just brought it in to do what we call a pre-sale inspection. A pre-sale inspection basically entails going over the entire vehicle, finding out any faults that it has, and fixing those faults. So whether it's tires, brakes, um, air filters, oil changes, all that sort of thing is kind of included in that. So on this particular vehicle, we ended up doing pads and rotors all the way around because when we drove it, we noticed that there was quite a pulsation. So as you can see, I'm not sure how well it shows up on camera here, brand new coated rotors on the rear and on the front. So we also check the tires, make sure that the tires are in good shape. If we kind of have a rule of thumb, if they're any more than half wore out, we generally will put a set on it. Uh, and the reason for that is, is because when a customer goes and looks at a car sitting on a lot, generally the first thing they look at is the tires. That's where the term tire kicker comes from. So with four brand new tires, it gives the person who's buying that vehicle one less thing to negotiate on. So when we have a price set up on our vehicles, we can stand behind that price knowing that we have done everything that we could have to that vehicle to make it ready for the road so that you don't have to spend any money on it. As I've said before, we always give a 90 day, 3000 kilometer warranty on everything we sell as well, unless otherwise stated. So for instance, that will not get a 90 day warranty. That also will not get a 90 day warranty. My wife's van will not get a 90 day warranty. They will be sold as is and the reason for that is we have a limitation on what we will sell with a warranty. Generally speaking, if it's over 10 years old, if it has over 200,000 kilometers, and if it's sold for less than $3,000, those are the general guidelines to which we would apply a as is sale to a vehicle. There are some exceptions. We get a really good vehicle that we feel that we can stand behind, and if we're making a little bit more profit on it than say something else, we may be inclined to do that. So nevertheless, we do sell a 90 day warranty on everything, so we don't sell it, we give it away. We don't charge anything for that. So 90 day warranty uh, goes on everything we sell, unless it meets that criteria of an as is sale. So. There's just a little update on uh, some of the things that we do here in the shop and the reason why the Honda Civic is in the shop is because I've asked Junior to bring it in. Uh, we're going to give it a quick vacuum, uh, clean the windows, wash it, just make it look presentable so that when the time comes to sell this uh, vehicle that at least it will look like it's in a presentable shape that we took a little bit of care and, and we do that because you know pretty shiny things sell a lot quicker uh, than dirty old rags. So back to the old basics, if it looks good people be interested in it. So I figured while I had a few minutes I would show you some of the new vehicles that we've got here at the lot and most of you have already seen likely the reviews day review I did on the Fiat 500L. So this is a 2014 Fiat 500L and if you haven't seen that video yet I will put that in the cards above so you can watch that after this video. This car only has 43,000 kilometers on it. And the other car that I have is the 14 Equinox I picked up last Tuesday. So there is the 14 Equinox and I do have a new emblem to go into the grill. And this vehicle is in really good shape. Tires are all good. We did put some front brake rotors on it because it was pulsating a little bit. And we've also got this 2016 Hyundai Elantra and it does have the aluminum wheels as you can see it is a six-speed manual 
but a great little car we should be able to sell for under 10 grand even though it's a 2016 and I believe the mileage on this is around 70,000 of course we still got the caliber and the Honda And I did have a couple of other vehicles that I bid on on the auction yesterday. One of them is a 15 Jeep Compass and it's white. And we will see that back here for sure because I did close a deal on that. And we've got somebody looking for another Hyundai Veloster. So I did find one of those, made an offer on it. We're still trying to negotiate the deal and close that one up. Hopefully we can get that back here by the end of the week and possibly even get somebody into that car and have it sold right away. So there's a quick update on some of the new vehicles we bought for this week. So we received such positive feedback on my wife's Veloster video that I decided to buy another one. And uh, we've got a lady in mind who's interested in it, so this is it. Hopefully she falls in love with it just like my wife did. So as I was mentioning earlier, the Chevy Equinox needs a new grill emblem and a hood protector, so we're gonna do that now. Well guys, it is lunchtime here and I am just getting ready to order my lunch from King Street Takeout. Again, one of the best greasy spoons around. So as I wait for my meal, I am going to close off this video and thank you guys for tuning in. I encourage you, if you haven't already, to hit that subscribe button down below. And remember, always focus on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. Take care guys, we'll see you in the next upload. I'm almost cleaning, so we're going to try a scare cam. The stairs are too creaky to sneak up on her. Hey honey, scare cam. You didn't scare me.